Hello and welcome to History Pod. If you would like to join other valued supporters who help to keep the daily episodes like this being researched, recorded and released, you can find details at patreon.com forward slash history pod. Alternatively, please leave a rating or a review on iTunes or Stitcher or click to like the History Pod Facebook page. On the 22nd of February 1797, the last invasion of Britain by a hostile foreign force began when French troops, under the command of the Irish-American Colonel William Tate, landed near the Welsh town of Fishguard. Britain joined the War of the First Coalition against revolutionary France in 1793. Three years later, the French general Lazare Hoche devised a plan to invade Britain in support of the Republican Society of United Irishmen, led by Wolfe Tone. Two of the three intended invasion forces were stopped by poor weather, leaving only the 1,400 troops of La Légion Noire the Black Legion, to launch their attack on Bristol. Since the professional French army was serving under Napoleon in Europe, La Légion Noire included 800 irregular soldiers, ranging from Republicans to recently released Royalist prisoners. Well equipped and dressed in dyed captured British uniforms that gave them their name, the Black Legion arrived off the English coast in four warships. But, unable to land in Bristol due to adverse weather, Colonel Tate instead anchored near the Welsh town of Fishguard, late on the 22nd of February. Soldiers and equipment were put ashore as darkness fell, faced only by a small force of volunteers under Lieutenant Colonel Thomas Knox. When dawn came, Knox realised that he was heavily outnumbered by the French, and retreated to meet up with reinforcements led by Lord Corder. By this time, the undisciplined French troops had begun looting local settlements, where they became increasingly drunk after finding wine from a recently wrecked Portuguese trading ship. A number of locals soon rushed to join the defence of Wales, including cobbler's wife Jemima Nicholas, who single-handedly rounded up twelve Frenchmen and locked them in a church. With his troops in disarray, Tate submitted to an unconditional surrender on the 24th of February. 